Hey guys, it's Rick Utzel here again with Ergon Web, Ergon Web TV, and today for Ergon Pro Shop as well. Now, filling PCP air guns has always been a challenge, and I started out with a hand pump. I did that for years, moved to scuba tanks, carbon fiber tanks. Eventually, I bought my own commercial compressor, spent a couple thousand dollars on that, and, you know, the rest is history. Now, not everybody's really willing to go through that learning curve, and I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on this learning curve, and I'm trying to find products that I can really recommend to you guys that actually work really well. They're not gonna put crappy air in your gun and they're gonna really be reliable. Now, we've decided to start carrying this unit. This is the Omega Air Charger. And the reason I'm carrying this, and we have other compressors too. We've got, uh, you know, we've got the Air Venturi. There's about $1,300, $1,400. They're big compressor. We've got the, the Nomad, the Nomad 2. That's actually a really good compressor too. And we've got other compressors going up the chain. We're gonna talk about that in another video. But this is, this is something that really got my attention, and there's a couple reasons why. Um, I'm a fan of the Omega compressors, and I'm not a fan because they feel really quick or they're, they look really cool. I actually think they do look cool. But the reason I really like those compressors is that they actually feel a little more slowly, but they just run. They're like a diesel engine, man. Once you get them going, they don't ever quit. And this is really a miniature version of like the Omega compressor. It's got a very simple piston. It's grease, uh, it's got a grease thing. It does not oil lubricate. It's got a grease lubrication just like the Omega does. And also it has a water tank. So this is a water-cooled 12 volt slash 110 volt portable personal compressor. And what makes that so special is it not only can just fill your air gun with auto shut off to the pressure you need, but it can also top off your bottles. Now, they've been telling me you can do bigger bottles as well. It takes a very, very long time, and you have to sort of monitor the run time. So I don't know how useful that is. I mean, you could do it in a pinch if you had to. But realistically speaking, what this is really designed to do is make sure you can get good quality air into your air guns, and I really think it's a very viable option for the smaller bottles, the little pony bottles. All right, so this compressor ships... Uh, and it will go right to a car battery. So we've got these ends right here. So you're out in the field. You can put this into your truck, car, whatever, in your trunk. Hook this to your battery, and you can make high-pressure air and fill your gun. So this guy right here will provide 12 volts with enough amperage and current and everything to run this. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up here. And we'll just hook this up here. And hook this up here. Okay, so now I'm going to plug this in. You're going to hear some fans running. So I'll, I may start talking a little bit louder just so you can hear me over the fans. Okay, so I plug that in, and now you can hear the fan running. It's not really that loud, um, and that cools the inverter. Now, the next thing we're going to do is turn the unit basically on, and that's going to get that water filtration or that water circulation system going. So we've got a, a breaker switch right here. When you switch that on, what that does, and the first thing I'm going to do is check to make sure we do have circulation. Yes, okay, so the water's flowing. I can't stress how important it is to double check that. If the water is not circulating, do not run the compressor. You'll burn it up. It's, it's super easy. If for some reason it's not flowing, it's probably got an air bubble in the pump. It's, that's super easy to fix, not a big deal but definitely double check that you do have circulation because to run it without the water flowing, you could burn up your compressor. Now at the front of the unit, it actually has an air-cooled radiator. So this water reservoir flows through a radiator that's air, that's fan, it's got a fan on it, and then that circulates through the head of the pump up here. It actually is a pretty cool cooling system. Again, if you've ever seen the Omega compressor, it's kind of a miniature version of that system. So once we have that going, we can actually set the pressure. now. This is one of these guns that actually takes more than 3,000 PSI. So if you're used to having a scuba tank and you're filling off of that, you actually can't fill this gun with that tank, not all the way up. With this, you can. So this is a 250 bar gun. Up here, we just have a simple adjustment. So I'm just going to flip this to 200. I just set that to 250 bar. Now. To make this run, all we're going to need to do, we make sure the bleeder is open. I always start my units with the bleeder open, let it sort of start, get things rolling, and then we'll shut the bleeder off. Now we've got two buttons here. This is the stop button. Here's the start button. 
and that's it. That's all the noise you got. To me, that seems pretty awesome. It's really not that loud at all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this. Okay, now we've started making air. The gun is currently sitting right around 210 bars. So we're not gonna take a lot of time in this, but as we're making air, it's just filling up the line, it's filling everything up. We're gonna pressurize the system and then it's gonna to top this off. When it hits 250 bar, it's gonna shut off automatically. And there we go, it's topped off. So it doesn't take very long to go from, you know, less than you need to exactly what you need. We'll go ahead and bleed it. Now, I'm also leaving this run for a few more minutes, or, you know, a little bit of time anyway. Uh, here it is. Okay. So that's the bleed valve. We're going to disconnect it. I'll leave this run for a couple minutes just so that the water can continue to circulate and cool everything down. But realistically, these actually run pretty cool. The reason they run cool is because they run more slowly. Again, these are not going to be speed demons at all. They're going to be reliable, consistent, and they're going to be able to top off your guns with auto shut off. And if you want to fill these smaller, the smaller pony bottles, I think these are a great option. You do need to watch your run times and make sure that you drain your condescent every so often, depending on your environment, so that you don't burn the unit up trying to fill one of these. But I have topped one of these off from 4,000 to 4,500. It took maybe 20 minutes or so. I didn't really time it, but that was about what it took. So you can imagine filling one from empty is going to take some time. But that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and shut it off now. And that's basically the system. This is the Omega Trail Charger. It's going to be available at Airgun Pro Shops, probably available right now. Just a great little unit. We're going to try and keep inventory of these. We may drop ship from the supplier. We're still up in the air on that. But for the most part, if you're looking for something that's reliable, consistent, water cooled and that's so important as far as I'm concerned is that really allows you to have this run for longer periods of time gives you much more flexibility in something that's extremely portable guys that's going to be it for now my name is Rick Uche here with Ergon Web, Ergon Web TV and today for Ergon Pro Shop thanks for watching